Hey, hey nerds, nerds, it's Thursday. Oh snap! It's Thursday. Today is theatrical because I have no school today because there's 10 inches of snow on the ground and so I will likely not have school tomorrow which will lead to much much time spent on watching old movies. I've already watched Sun Like It Hot and I'm planning to continue this pattern. I'm a little bit sick and um, a lot a bit tired but it's all okay. Um, I hate physics and I want it to die a painful and slow death. And that's okay too. So Damn Yankees rehearsals are in full swing. I'm really excited for the show to continue to go. I I love all the girls there. They're all fantastic. Audrey, Meg, <laughs> you girls are amazing and Samantha and just oh, Allie, everyone is amazing in that cast. And the guys, they're okay, whatever. We're supposed to be talking about horoscopes this week and I reluctantly agree to this because I do not believe in horoscopes whatsoever in the slightest. I, I don't think that the position of the stars can have special deep significance or meaning that exclusively applies to only you. The horoscope song, which is like one of my favorite songs of all time, um, I'll post a link to that down there and you'll see what I mean. I was a Capricorn, now I'm a Sagittarius. Claire talked about that earlier in the week. And what everyone seems to be saying is that they're a little bit of both their signs, and I think that's just because the whole thing is crap, and um, and it, they're just giving random traits. So some of the random traits are bound to fit you. Um, I do buy in a little bit to the Chinese zodiac, just because I think that the year that you're born in can have some application, you know, because it's more of generations and like your age group and progression. And I also am a big fan of Jackie Chan Adventures with the talismans, and I would like to think that I was the dog talisman, because I'm a dog in the Chinese Zodiac, and I would like to pretend that my magical power is immortality. Maria challenged me to make a artwork completely from candy. I have this bowl of candy right here. I have this hot glue gun. And Valentine's Day is coming up. So I made you girls a love wreath right there. So this is Maria, Claire, Maddie, and Sammy. I love you girl. Today's challenge from Maggie Bain, produced by her mother, Peggy <laughs> Bain, is to create an awesome vinegar and baking soda volcano. You might want to add food coloring because it always adds to the excitement. And that's pretty much it. Good luck. Three! <laughs> Maddie, I look forward to seeing your vinegar and making soda volcano. Claire, you are the most fantastic person ever. That poem was one of my favorite moments on YouTube ever. I put up my giant Hufflepuff thing and it makes me really happy to look at it. Yay! You guys are awesome. Sammy, I'll see you tomorrow.